So we all have that one house in real life that we would love to live in. It might be one you've drove past in your town or when you're on holiday you've seen it. So today I'm going to be building my in real life dream house in Bloxburg. Here are some pictures of the outside of the house. And I love searching on like house selling websites, just looking for houses. And when I saw this one, I was like, I need this now. And I thought, well, I don't have a million pounds. So instead, I'll just build it in Bloxburg and we can live my dream life here. With that explanation done, let's begin. Alrighty, so building the floor plan actually shouldn't be hard because this house actually has blueprints. But with that, I think I've got the rough downstairs floor plan done. So I'll quickly put on screen which each room is going to be downstairs. And on the floor plan, as you can see, it kind of looks like the stairs are about here-ish. And I think there's actually another wall there. It's so hard building from real life floor plans, I swear. But the upstairs essentially has the same outline, except it doesn't obviously have the garage. Oh, and somebody commented that you can actually get rid of the grid by pressing H. <gasps> what? That is so useful. I used to like go into the basement to do it, but now, oh my gosh, that is so cool. Right, I'm gonna add a temporary floor in just so we can do the walls. And this house actually has quite a lot of bedrooms, you know, so I will show you again what rooms are gonna be which on the second floor. Now that we've got the hard part out of the way, which is doing all the layout, we can actually get started decorating because right now this definitely does not look like a dream house. It looks like a dream junk pile of rubbish. I'm not gonna lie, the exterior is actually one of the main reasons this is my dream house in real life and the style of this house as well is sort of traditional and if you're a regular viewer then you know traditional is just my favorite and as you can see guys i was struggling so hard when doing these roofs no joke it literally took me 15 minutes to work out where they were going but with that last one on the back i think this is the roofs done now please do not judge this build by the roofs okay but if we look at it like that i'd say the outline actually looks pretty accurate to the dream home but of course still there is no decor or anything on on here so let's start with the basics which is brick so it kind of looks like it's got a linen color brick but like like it's even got a tinge of like red to it even i'd say that's a pretty close match this brick so we'll put that all around spin me round baby right right round baby and the roof guys every british house has this roof but i just i don't know if they have it in blocksburg let's see if any type of brick looks similar tbh this brick actually looks really similar and the house does have some pillars not loads and guys now it's for my favorite part of building we all know i love doing this and not it's attempting to do that crazy pattern that they've put there and wait i've just realized actually these roofs are not brick they're like different they're literally just plain white and then the lines are actually gray so i'm going to use some wooden planks to make those lines i'm proud of that i'm pretty proud of that i think this looks really close to the house when we walk around it's going to be like we're actually living here now it's time for the windows and these is my favorite part down the front here there's like a triple window and another reason that i would love to live here in real life is because these types of windows I think they're called French windows. They're like my favorite. Like when I'm older, I'm definitely gonna have these windows in my house. Here's where I'm really gonna find it hard. The only thing we could do is add a bay window, but I feel like these are so old school. Like if we just had two of them, that looks so weird. But the window is kind of curved. Maybe if we did actually just make it curved, then this could help. Oh yeah, that definitely has helped. Oh, this literally guys looks like a house that you'd see just down my street. Okay, so I'm really sizing the windows right now and I'm just trying to place them in the exact pattern and if you guys live in England or like anywhere in the UK doesn't this just look like a classical like rich person house that is simply the vibe I'm getting and that's why I'd want to live here and then over here is the garage which has a really simple garage door on it actually oh something I don't want to forget actually is a chimney where are they wait a chimney is a thing I swear they are oh yeah I'm so blind guys I swear my house has to have a chimney because I obviously want a fireplace up in here but the most important part now is actually doing the front garden area so there's like trees here and if you ever want to put mud just search up grass and make it pine cone off to the side though it does look like there's a little fence gate the closest one i think is this and then we can see this fence sort of wraps around the entire estate and now we need to do like the gravelly pathway and the floor tilings look like these pebbles the only thing is it is when it goes diagonal it goes a bit crazy crazy mental mental chicken oriental but that's okay because you're not really going to see the stuff stones are yeah then we have this really lovely like sage green grass sage green is actually a favorite color of mine at the moment like in and out of real 
real life. Green is just such color. So please guys, comment down below your favorite colors. Like actually do, and I'll read them. And if anyone has the same color as me, then I'll reply and be like, twins. Guys, I keep forgetting this is like a real life house that people live in. And this would not be a true Reese's build if we didn't use some of these Japanese trees. Look at the aerial view of this property now. Oh! I'm not gonna lie, I am going a little bit rogue with the windows at the back. As you can see, they do not look like the picture. But those are the back windows done. Did you know guys, fun fact, English houses on the side, they actually never really have windows. It's just on the front and back. I know you're all eager for me to go inside, so we should probably hurry up with this outside bit. So I'm just gonna add some bushes. I'm actually gonna shorten this front grass bit so we can add a pond. Of course, adding some lily pads. Last but not least, we'll have some swings. So if any family come round or anything, and we'll have a little gazelle hut as well with a bench in it. This is looks actually magical for a front garden of a house. Can you guys see why it's my dream home now? But now for the moment you've all been waiting for, it's time to go inside and decorate. The first room we're starting off with is going to be the dining room, which is kind of weird, but it's the first picture on the website. And the dining room looks like this. So I'm a fan of like the walls and stuff, but I do not know what they were thinking with that table. But as with any new house, you sort of change the furniture that was already in there. But first things first, it looks like the main wall Walls were these light grey. Then there's a really high one, which is like a different shade. This house might not be to everyone's style, but I hope you can appreciate the design. I don't know why I've always just had such a specific taste in houses. And something they should so add to Bloxburg is tablecloths. Because all they have for now is table runners, which yeah, these are nice, but it'd be cool to have a cloth as well. I'm going to attempt to make a centerpiece for this table because I want to live as if I'm living in Buckingham Palace. Not going to lie, I feel like I would have the fanciest chairs at my table. Oh, they look so good good. There's also a fireplace, which is the chimney right above here. <laughs> uh, basically. It doesn't have to be exact in Bloxburg. That's another positive of building in it. There's also a nice picture above the fireplace where I would be the kind of person to have so many pictures in my house. I just love pictures. Unless someone's taking one of me, then I'm just like, literally, what are you doing? Stop taking pictures of me. And Bloxburg has actually inspired me to have so many plants in my real life house because it looks so good in Bloxburg. So I'm sure it would look good in real life too. I'm also trying not to compact this too much because I feel like in Bloxburg, we tend to really over overcrowd rooms. Whereas in real life, there's never that much decoration in one room. I'm going to use a vent for a radiator. Oh, wait, you can't see them behind wall trims, can you? I mean, we could attempt to make one with these vertical cylinders. Achoo! Oh my gosh, bless me. Did you see that? I like sneezed and I got blown back. Oh my gosh, I love a sneeze though. Wow, guys, that's the most realistic looking radiator ever. Here is definitely gotta be a chest of drawers. And since I'm someone who actually loves looking in the mirror, I'm not really vain, like I'm not even that confident, but whenever there's a mirror there, I just walk past and it's like slow-mo and I'm like, I'm such a baddie right now. Last but not least, I wanna have one of these fancy benches. This is actually a really accurate representation, but re 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 a representation of what I'd love my house to look like. And you might notice I'm adding some structural beams. And that's because these help to make a room looks so much more fancy. Like, look at that roof. Oh, <laughs> there's not actually a roof in yet. Okay, that is the first room done. So we don't have any pictures for the hallway, so we can literally have free reign on this. And we might as well put the door in to the toilet, the study, and then I want French doors going into the living room. We can have another dresser out here. So umbrellas, keys. And you guys often ask me how long it takes me to build. For example, we've just done this so far, and I've already been filming for over an hour. So sometimes people are like, you built this so quick. And I'm like, well, yeah, it was kind of quick. But at the same time, <laughs> like I edit it down to like 15 minutes. But in reality, it took like two hours. But I don't mind because I absolutely love doing this. Also, guys, it's half term in England right now. So we're off school, which means hopefully I can get some more videos out. I mean, I say that as if I don't literally post pretty much every day now. People often ask me what my upload schedule is. Like I try to make one, but then something always comes up. For example, last week was my birthday. Then the week before that, I had my exams. So because my life is actually quite busy, it's hard to make a schedule. And I actually want to substitute this day desk for these ones. I forgot these existed. I forgot that you existed. This looks like a well rich house, doesn't it? And I know it's big, but in reality, this isn't actually crazy big. Like it's not really a mansion. And this is why it's about how you decorate a house, not how big it is. Next up is the study. So since I'm a YouTuber, obviously most of my work is on the computer. Well, <laughs> all of it actually. So a study room is definitely necessary. 
And if you look at the picture of the in real life one, I mean, please. Look how nice the house is. And then that's just the study. So I will absolutely be renovating this study area. However, it does tell us that there is like a mini window here. I'm going to make a double desk area because I have a dream office in mind. So first of all, I have a massive computer. I also obviously have a huge gaming chair, a mini fridge. So like I don't even have to leave to get a drink. And then the thing that I really want in real life is LED lights. I got them once guys, but you know on it, it says you can cut it wherever you want it's like cut them and they'll still work so i cut the led lights but i cut it like two centimeters in and so only like two out of the hundred lights worked it was so sad i would probably also have a massive bookshelf in my office another cool thing to have in an office which kind of makes it seem more like a mansion than a house is to have an office which has a table in it because then you can legit have meetings in your house. And guys, I have a question for you in the comments. If you are not British, do you think I sound posh? Because some people are like, you sound so posh. I'm like, guys, I do not sound posh at all. I definitely don't have like the king's accent, which is like, oh, hello, welcome to my castle. But yeah, I'm just so curious to know, do, I, do you think I sound posh? Also, I'm adding blinds because I forgot to add them and I need blinds in my house. Like you need privacy. But with all that rambling, we actually missed the office being completed. Next job is the bathroom. We'll make it marble floor. I think I'm gonna do light blue tiles. A toilet here. And shall we put a shower in this room? Is there enough space? I think maybe for just a corner shower there actually is. And a bathroom mat so you don't spill water all over my marble floor, please. We'll add a painting. Last but not least, some custom shelves. So that's basically half of downstairs done. Something we can really quickly get out of the way is the garage or the garage, as you say in America. Then these fancy brick walls. I mean, I don't know. I feel like trying something different because it is the dream house after all. And actually, I don't know why I'm doing the garage this big because something that really annoys me in houses is when the garage is so big because I'm like, you could literally knock this out and turn it into a massive bedroom. And we can actually have space for all my cars because guys, I'm somebody who wants so many cars. And my dream car is like a Rolls Royce or a Bentley or something so fancy like that. That car is like 300 grand. Who the hell is paying that? However, the one good thing about a garage this big is you can have like a little utility kitchen bit. Like we can have some sinks out here, some mini fridges. Like, you know, when your grandma's like, I just got to go to the garage, sweetie, and get out the ice cream for the apple crumble. On this side, we can just have a big storage unit. So what room do we do next? We have the utility room, the kitchen, and the living room. I think the kitchen. I've gone far too long without doing a kitchen. I think I'm going to use these deck tiles but make them like really white from the picture as you can see this kitchen is so nice but it also has like a breakfast area over here so yeah let's put the island in first and there's a couple counters there and a built-in oven next to it and from here i'm just gonna do my own thing i've opened these cabinets so we can put stuff in them and i've also grabbed this marble so we can have some tiling in but i'm just gonna put random stuff in this first cabinet i'm not gonna lie in my house in real life and in blocksburg i always splash out on the most expensive appliances because food is such a big part of our lives. I think it's one of those things in life I'd be happy spending a lot of money on. I've also just added another separate island in the middle just because there was a bit of an empty gap. We'll have some of these fancy upright stools. I found these cute bird boxes put along this wall. It's still something is missing so I think I'm going to use paintings to make some custom wallpaper behind it. We'll finish off this room by adding some lights. Up next is the utility room which is kind of just a novelty room which basically just means it's a completely unnecessary room but people love to have it anyway. So we'll do what I normally do and add a couple of cabinets and then the washers and dryers stacked on each other. The other kind of things you would have in here is just like an ironing board and some laundry probably. And this is a very compact room but it's very cute. The last room downstairs we have is the living room. Here is the picture that we get for the lounge. I'm actually changing my mind on the French doors. We also get what looks like a full wall fireplace and a little feature wall going on and to be fair I want to use a carpet in here but our Bloxburg carpet's actually that nice. I feel like it actually isn't too bad so we'll just use it. I think I want to have cabinets either side. Of course I'm going to use these sophisticated sofas. Custom made of course. For a coffee table oh my gosh they I forget how small they look in Bloxburg. We're going to have to use this one. And also I would definitely have some circle pillows. Maybe even some blue 
ones. Definitely some end tables. I'm sorry, I just can't get used to this floor. We're gonna have to do something else. And with some final lamps, I think that's the living room done. It's more simple than the other rooms, but still super nice. And that's the whole downstairs of our IRL dream home done. So I'm thinking we should probably do a couple of things to the back garden. I definitely want a pool in my dream house. I feel like if you live in England, you can relate because I swear so many American houses all have pools. But in my in real life town, literally one house has a pool. Like they're just not so common in England. So I've outlined everything and now we can add some sunbeds and a little hot tub in the corner as well. And I'm literally just adding the most random stuff here, like a gazebo and even some stepping stones. And for the garden, I think that's fine, mainly because I don't want to run out of money for the bedroom. So we'll continue the landing upstairs. Of course, rule the stairs off so you can't fall off of them. And as you can see by my money, we definitely don't have enough to do every bedroom, but also that would be pretty repetitive anyway. So I'm only going to do my room, which would be the master bedroom. So first of all, we've got to get rid of this roof. And what makes this a master bedroom is because it has its own ensuite and closet. My in real life dream, guys, is have a closet. Like literally, if I could do anything to my house right now, it would be add a closet in for myself. I always do this as well. I've made the colors like a gender reveal again. And guys, if you hadn't guessed earlier, my favorite color is actually blue. So I'm going to do my walls like this dark blue and this over here is actually so annoying but it's fine so we'll have the bed next to it of course with massive pillows on it because that's an easy way to make the bed look fancy i'm even giving my dream bedroom its own little reading area so we'll have bookshelves then we can steal one of the dining chairs and this can be where we read our book and also, last but not least, this vine plant. And it is very sad we didn't have enough money to do the ensuite, but at least we have a bathroom downstairs. But with that, we finish on a grand total of zero dollars, <laughs> but at least we finish most of my dream house. Before we even go in, it values at 600K. How, I do not know. I'm guessing some blocks, but cars add value to it. But if we go through the front gates, this does look pretty amazing. And I'm surprised at how realistic it actually looks. This this literally looks like a British house. Oh, I'm in, I'm in the pond. It is a shame that we couldn't fill in the upstairs rooms. Anyway, if we go through the front door, we have the hallway. Wow, it's very bright in here. This is truly what I just want to walk home to every day. I mean, obviously I'm grateful for my house now. On the left, we have the study, which imagine if I was making YouTube videos in here, guys. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, living in my million dollar house. Opposite is the dining room, which is so nice, so fancy as well in here. We also have a guest bar bathroom and this is the only bathroom built but it kind of gives you a gist of what the rest would look like this is the living room through these double doors a very simple room but really really nice nonetheless and it actually gives you direct access to the back garden with our pool through here is the main area which is the kitchen so we've got this very nice wallpaper we've got all our appliances and stuff even some special cupboards we have a breakfast area so if you don't want to go into the dining room and this also takes us through to the utility room and the garage which is where we catch some of our sports cars back through to the entryway we can go upstairs oh mistake alert so this is a really nice hallway actually it's got such a nice window and there's gonna be eventually many rooms in this house but for now the only one i've did is my master bedroom with an ensuite bathroom and its own walk-in closet so that was me building my dream in real life house which i can probably never afford but you know who knows one day maybe if you guys like this video make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss an upload and thank you all so much for watching this and i'll see you all next time